go guys this is Faye Diamond in the Rough and I'm going to attempt some cover minders <laughs> I don't know if you heard that Google just asked said she couldn't help me with something um, anyway so cover minders this is um, an in, going to be an interesting little go I've done a little bit of trials and not happy with them but I think I've worked it out. I have a couple of different magnets. I have these ones, which are the big, big, thick craft magnets. I have some of the smaller magnets. Um, I've got more of these on order, waiting for them to arrive. And I have my little itty bitty, 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 bitty tiny magnets, which are lots of fun to play with. <laughs> But they are tiny. There we go. So what I've tried to do is I would like to use the tiny camera down here. Yes. From there. Come on, focus. wonder if I do that there we go look at that um, yeah so I'm going to try the little magnets as well um, purely because I brought them and I, they're just too small but I might get them to be able to work in another way so you've seen I've had some tools turn up I have some molds yet to arrive um, so yeah we'll see how we go Dearly, just for you, I have the uh, the finger cots. <laughs> um, what I also have is I've been trying to work with the resin with magnets with metal tweezers. Do you know how well that works? I'll have a magnet in a in some resin and it jumps up and out of the resin. So I've had to resort to the old cheapy tweezers that we get in um, some of our diamond painting kits. Okay, so here we go. A couple of different ideas that I've had is with the purple ribbons, which I brought. The Let's have that. I see them. So the idea is to put them inside the heart. Um, I am going to use some 209 DMC square drills. I have... Some of the glitter, yes, I'm working with purples today because I just want to try purples. It's one of those days. Um, I have the shards of that and I might as well pull out other colours, other purple stuff. Um, got the glitter. Um, hang on, let's grab some tint. Purple tint, and let's see how we go. Uh, it's partially paint by ear, partially not. Um, so we'll see how we go. The first plan is for this one here. So I'm going to work a couple of projects all at once, but I'll work at this stage and this stage. Um, you'll see what I'm doing, but I need the resin to set. I do have my resin my UV lamp and I do have my blue light there is oh, I don't know if you can see there's a glow to that it's actually showing up glitter <laughs> sorry playing with the blue light it's been fun in the house playing with blue light but we won't go there so the first thing I'm do, going to do is this little ribbon. I'm going to pour the resin in and then I'm going to set the ribbon in and I'm going to set the resin hard with the ribbon in it. So that is the first plan of attack there. This is a big mould. So what I want to do is put the resin in and put the magnet on top of that. Okay. What I do need to do is the fact that I have, you will see the magnet. 
um, I do plan to work around that so we'll see uh, resin might come in handy okay so this is the resin I got off of Amazon crystal epoxy resin um, I do have more res resin coming so yeah but let's get this now what I want to do I might have I'm gonna to have to work on getting a better angle for you guys but this resin like two-part epoxy resin gets bubbles in it I do have that's not going to do it okay hang on Got a bubble in there that just it just doesn't want to pop. I hope that's not too bright for you guys. I I need to have lights on um, directly on what I'm doing. Okay, so what I've got in there is just a very thin layer of resin. What I want to do is pop the sorry pop the ribbon in so this is obviously a trial run let's grab a poker okay I want to try and get this in um, I want to get the front set front set but not the back okay and I know what I need to do I need to have a mirror okay radio I feel like I need to put something there no I'll leave that as it is so there we go there's that what I will do now is I'm going to put this under the lamp. I'm not going to use the torch. I'll put it under the lamp. Um, the lamp is probably a lot better way to go. Now, what I want to do here, this one, these are the little itty bitty molds. So these will do small cover minders. What I'm looking at here is I will put resin and use the little tiny magnets. Um, what I do need to do is can you hear my brain ticking over okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use some drills excuse me while I find that um, yeah I should be able to mix them in there Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, spilling drills. Okay, lamp's got off. I'll do another minute. Okay, so there we go. I'm not going to put these drills up the right way. These are just going to be all over the place, I think. This is why I should have the finger things on, because I've got resin on my fingers already, and everything is sticking to everything. <laughs> <laughs> at least um, resin this UV resin it will set but it takes direct sunlight or the UV light okay so which is why when you work on um, I can it's one of the things like when it does set as well depending on the surface hang on I'm just grabbing the baby wipes out should have grabbed these out ages ago okay righty -o. so now I'm gonna um, yeah this when you actually spill resin on silicon molds silicon and put them in silicon molds it, it doesn't stick to the silicon okay now 
I don't know how that'll go. Just a bit more resin. Okay. Alrighty, let's do a swap a room. Put that one under the lamp for a couple of minutes and okay. Oh is it? Okay, so there we go. The ribbon is now in and I think I have something an air bubble stuck in there. Disappointment. So that's one thing that I'm going to, have to learn how to work with. Okay, so next step with this is um, I was going to put drills, wasn't I? I'm actually going to put glitter. Okay, so. What I'm doing now is mixing up a reasonable amount of glitter in the resin. Just gonna just doesn't cut it that one. Hang on a sec. Okay, for those of you that have seen me use two part epoxy at resin, ah, there we go. I'm just trying to pop the bubbles out before I even start mixing. And that is popping some of them. Let's bring them to the surface anyway. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't find the glitter. There it is. Right. So. This is very, 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 very fine glitter. This is finer than the Ultra that I've used on other resins that work. Okay. So here we go. I want it. I want to be able to not see um, the magnet because I'm going to put the big mag. No, I'm not. Yeah, I, I see how we go. What am I going to do? Am I going to put a medium magnet or a big magnet? Okay. This is a silicon. One of the silicon. Spoons that I've gotten. Okay, so here we go. Let's pour that in. Whoops. And I don't want to, what I'm trying to do is it's funny, I was going to put the drills in that one, but I've decided not to. What I don't want to do, what I do want to do is put the magnet in. I'm going to do it in layers. But I can't use this because I'm using it for all my clear stuff. Okay, okay. So let's put that over there. And the good flamethrower to pop the bubbles. Because I know the good flamethrower flame does that, which is what it just did. Okay. So, do the swap a room. Oops. <laughs> that good flamethrower <laughs> just melted that plastic a bit. Okay, okay. So, this is. We turn it over. You can see the drills are in there. What I'm looking at doing, okay, in here, this is where I want to use. Um, a couple of them and this is all trial this is all trial this is I've got more I've got hang on how many of you guys use your teeth to open up um, um, use your teeth to open up um, magnets Okay, open up sticky tape. Okay, 
Get off my finger now. Oh, it's going to kill. It's going to kill. Of course it's going to kill. Right. And something on that side. There we go. What I'm trying to do... <laughs> uh, okay. I want to be able to put the magnets... Oh, God, they're flying everywhere. I need those tweezers. Okay. There goes one magnet flying. And another magnet flying. Oh, this is going to be... Okay, I can hear you guys laughing right now. Mm. Stick to that. There we go. <sighs> oh, you can't see half of what I was doing then. Okay, there we go. <laughs> right. The plan actually is to get magnets to stick to this tape. That's a single magnet. Okay. But what I do need to do is make sure the polarity... Oh, guys, that's what it is. You guys can't actually... Hang on. i move the camera. You're going to watch me fumble with this. Hang on. Oop. Don't know where that one went to. Oh, <laughs> this is... Fun, but not fun. How about... Hang on. That magnet needs to go the other side. Other way. There we go. That's going to hold that down. What I want is all my magnets to be around the same way. Um, because we want the polarity to be um, we want to be able to put one put magnets on one side and then magnets on the other side but that's what the plan is so I will grab one of these smaller magnets I need to do the base first okay smaller magnet in there and resin in nope I need to put color behind it I am going to need a fair amount of color because I'm going to use this color for um, the other one as well Oops. Come on, be nice to me. When you use power packs, they like to turn themselves off and then you have to reset them. Okay, just a little bit of a bubble pop. We're going to be pouring more in. I'm going to put tint in here. So this is the Lumiere that I've used previously. Let's see how two drops go. And I have poured a little bit before where I put too many too much in and it just didn't cure for me. Okay. And I'm going to put one more drop in. Okay, let's see how we go. 
and I don't know if you can see my left hand, my left hand just got caught on the sticker, on the sticky tape. And I got resin on my finger. This is why I should be wearing the cots. Okay. Torch. I'm actually going to tilt this. Because I don't believe I'm getting all the bubbles. Yeah, I'm not getting all the bubbles. Okay. So pour this in. Okay. I've stopped not using the clear. I need to be able to pour this in. And I want to make sure. See, that's pretty well level. Now, I'm going to use a flamethrower. I've used the flamethrower the last time when I played with the magnets. Oops. <laughs> Wood burns. Um, and I put the flamethrower too close <laughs> and ended up picking up the magnets. Okay, so. My head is just trying to work this magnet thing out. Rightio. Let's take that one. Let's take that one. Okay, dookie. So here we go so far. This is what we have. That's pretty. Apart from that bloody bubble. But I might be able to fix that. Come on, focus on it. Mm, it's not going to. Okay, so now I'm going to... The plan is, is for big magnet to go behind that and we don't want to see the magnet and that's what we're not... It looks like the magnet's going to be hidden. But the magnet is actually too big for that mould. Bugger. So, what do we do? Trying to work out. Can you hear the cogs ticking? I've got, uh, I'll go with a smaller magnet. I'll have to go with one of the smaller magnets. Hang on. Okay, guys, I had to pause there. Nathan walked in asking me a question and then goes, oops, sorry, I forgot your recording. Um, now, while he was asking me questions, I had mind thoughts. <laughs> this one here, which I'm actually, it doesn't look very nice. I've ended up, the magnet actually went to the wrong side. I should have put it, tried to get it central. So you can see it's not centre. So I'm going to have to... Um, that one's a, a write-off. I'll stop sealing that. And that's a complete write-off. Okay. I'm not happy with that's the way that looks. Oh, yeah. I've got a magnet on the back. It's not going to even go to focus. It looks that bad. But the magnet is completely off centre. So I'm going to have to try and see if I can recover that magnet. Okay. So one of the things that I did think about when I was doing this was the fact that I need to position the magnet in the right spot. And what that means is basically I need to put a drop of resin... And this is where the torch will come in. So I'm just scooping up Revson that I spilt on the desk on the mats. Okay. So what I need is a drop of resin. Grab the magnet. And then position it 
So just hang on while I So that's one thing that I should have done with the other one is what I'm doing here. So that magnet I'm now positioning, just getting resin off my hands, making sure. And this is where this little torch comes into play. This will actually set it in the right spot and it won't move. Okay. So just the blue light. Oh gosh, and I will do it. That way, hang on, sorry guys. I want to make sure it's set properly. Okay. Just going to see if it's going to move. No, it's not going to move. So that's one learning already is that to get the magnet where I want it. And because it's central, it doesn't look too bad on that side of it. And see that buckle? That's where my flamethrower got it. Okay. So that's that one. Not completed because uh, I now need to pour this resin. So this is the tinted resin. And I obviously could have done a lot more resin, but that's all of the resin that I made that I tinted that colour. Okay. Let's do the quick. Let's see if this is going to... I can... You can see when it's popping. But I just don't want to buckle this any more than I already have. Which, okay. <laughs> Whoops, magnetized. Okay, that's going to have to do it. So I put that under the USB. And I'm going to have to hit that a couple of times. Right, so that then has just given me another food for thought. I will use this one. <laughs> I love playing with magnets. <laughs> um, what's this just given me a thought for is... Um, Got the small magnet in there. Uh, what I need to do is change those magnets over. Right, so what I mean, all right, all right, tape on there. I need to make sure. Okay. This is where I'm not going to ruin a mould and I'm, all I'm going to do is damage these small magnets. Okay, so um, what I've got to do is try and get these magnets all by them, separate them out without sending them flying. So I am going to use the tweezers. So what I'm aiming at is getting these very, 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 very strong little tiny magnets placed as close to each other as I possibly can. And now the only thing that I can do is, oh, come off it.
Come on. <laughs> Please be the right way. Okay. What I'm hoping is that I will be able to get them a range of these magnets all closely together stuck down on this tape this is going to be uh, definitely won't be using these magnets again Is there one or two on that one? Okay. Right. <laughs> oh, come on, magnets. Stick to the tape, not to each other. Right. They've just... Frustrating as anything. Right, right, here we go. That one has to be turned up the other way. Okay, right, let's see how we go here. It's just not going to do it for me. <laughs> right here. I just need this to set a bit more. This is where working with magnets and trying to keep things... <sighs> that can go in the bin. Working with magnets and trying to get things um, playing fair is just... It's just so hard to do. Just trying to make sure this is fully set. And I'm going to go from the other side... Okay, radio. Let's see how we go getting this off. Because this is not a silicon mold, um, uh, Here we go. Because it's not a silicon mold, it just makes it harder to get off. And it, this was a chocolate mold, if you remember from my little shopping haul that I did previously. So this is warts and all video. Okay, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. Gosh. Um, see his tweezers under there. 
Just loosen that. Okay. Right. So that's it. That's actually quite pretty. I do have a bit of a <laughs> that bubble, and I'm just gonna see what I can do about putting some resin in it and filling the hole. Oh, I'm going to have to work on that a slightly different way, I think, to fill that hole. Um, I'll do that afterwards, I think. But I'll just... Bit of a torch on it. But I am happy with the way that that is. Actually, it looks pretty good. Okay, turn that off. So come back up again and let's see if it'll focus. So what we've got is the ribbon, the glitter, and you can just see the magnet in there. And then you've got the back section, which was the tinted resin. So with that, this is where... Um, where did I put that tape? There it is. What I want to do is use the tape to my advantage in relation to the magnets. So I'm putting it sticky side down. <laughs> Guys, just hang on. Hang on a sec. Oh, I had to sort that out. I think the reason why the focus is that's not focusing um, is because I've got that additional light on. So you're going to have to deal with my foof headed shadow there. Okay, so what I was trying to show you is I have put the sticky tape, sticky tape side down. Um, because I'm going to have to try and get these magnets onto this one. Um, okay, so what you can see is I've got a magnet here. That's not going to be strong enough. No, okay, there we go. That's good Good thinking. I now know that that magnet is not strong enough to go through it. I do need to use the bigger magnets. That's put these down. I do need to do a bigger magnet on the back. So that being said, I actually don't like the magnets like that. What I do like is the ma I want the magnet to be a bit covered, but I don't want it to be too bulky. Okay. So what I'm going to do is with whatever little bit of resin I have left in this, I'm just going to put onto there. This then, when I put this down, will attach to the resin, but I will get it to the sticky tape. It won't attach, the resin won't stick to the other resin. There's, I just need to put another layer in between. So I'm just going to torch this. And this is what it's all about for me. It's trial and error. Um, you know, trying to work my way through getting some of this is just, you can probably hear my brain ticking away. So now that I've got, I now know what side I need to keep flat 
Okay, now this is where the fun comes into play. Is I need to lift that magnet off. Oh, that didn't set. Poop. Excuse the language. Okay, let's have another go with the tape. <laughs> Mind, I do know it is that side that I need the resin to set on. Um, hang on. Just going to try and just get it to level itself out a bit. I obviously need to use the torch on these for a lot longer. Okay. Maybe I do need to continue to use that lamp. The torch is good for quick, short little bits, but obviously that magnet has caused uh, enough issue. It was too thick. The, the resin didn't go through it. That's pretty. Just while I'm doing that with one hand. Ouch! What I might do is with the other hand and try and pick up some you know, dribbles of resin to try and see if I can get, get go into that hole. What I'm going to have to do is, is polish it up. Is that enough time, do we think? No, but it's enough time oh, that I can move it and put it under that. Whoops. Oh, okay. With this one, I want the resin to fill the hole, but I don't want the resin to, start to be too much on top. Actually, I can do that. This is me. This is just, I could do what I can to try and work my way through this. Um, just, what I'm just doing is just make it a little bit runny. And then I can spread it out a bit. See how that goes. Not quite. Just doesn't seem to be doing it. That it is going to need a bit of sanding and a little bit of a UV top coat, which I don't have because I didn't realise I needed it until I did more research. So there's more stuff that I have to order. But hey, this is a hobby. I loved. I'm enjoying this. I'm getting frustrated at different bits. Oh, okay, clean these fingers. I might. Give that a bit of a, a wipe. Bit of a wipe there. I'll wipe up some of this resin that's sitting there. Okay, the radio. The other one's not doing it for me though. It's not setting. <laughs> 
it's not wanting to set on the magnet itself so just for size what I'm do is purely for size so what I've done is just put that in there um, and I'm just thinking that if I do it that way okay so what I need to do is that one's not fully oh it is semi set okay there we go what I'm going to do now hang on a sec I make my computer work too hard right what I do is more tint just tint this one okay and it might seem like a little bit of an overkill that I'm using the two Whoa. Whoa, ha, ha. come on pop bubbles tell you what I'm not liking this resin I, I think I'm going to be going back to two part epoxy resin but it just means that I've got to work faster the reason being is that I'm seeing bubbles and I'm not able to pop those bubbles the way I can with two part epoxy and I don't know whether it's because I'm using out in the open or what it is okay so three drops give it a good mix around This, I reckon, is going to take a lot longer to set. A lot longer to set. Okay, okay, let's get this in. But that covers the magnet. And I've only got a thin film of resin on the other on the underside of that okay there we go now I can see the bubbles popping okay put this under the lamp and it's just going to take a bit of time so with that being done what I'm going to do is what I've been t what I've seen so far is with your resin on the silicon molds you cure it and the ability to clean up afterwards is really good really quick gosh you guys can't when that's on there you guys can't see it I'm gonna have to work on some camera settings for you but that's see if I did I'm gonna do it no even that Okay, and just on the mat, I've got resin here on the mat here. Okay. And it just comes off so easy. Because it's set, it's no longer gooey. 
So that's resin clean up. Mind, I wouldn't put the UV torch on my fingernails because uh, that would actually set the resin to my fingernails. You know, it's one of the reasons why my nails last so long is because it's a, a UV resin. The only reason I have to go back to my nails done is, you know, is, is not because I've damaged the nails. It's because my nails have grown. But yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've got that stuck to my hands now. <laughs> I could you. Let's press that again. But that resin's no longer sticky. I'm just doing that to pick it up because I don't want it on my fingers. Hence why silicon mats. You can cure the resin. Bloody fingers. I will be going back to wearing gloves, I think. Okay, so I've just cleaned up a little bit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out my new toolkit. Hopefully this noise won't disturb you, be too loud. But what ones... Now this is the... This one's metal. I'm going to try... This one first. Okay. Whew. Okay. Just want to find one that'll just gonna grind it off the quickest, which is this one. Um I don't know whether this is the tool for me. I don't think it's strong enough. The grinder, the, the, this, the tool, sorry, is right. It's actually the machine is not liking it. Whoop, there it goes. I've just got my fingernail. Okay. Swap to this one, which is, seems a bit, a bit more precise. I do have some nail files coming. Um, some resin files. Ah, oh, yeah, no, this is the better tool for what I was doing. And I've just cut too much off. Okay, that's it. That bit. Obviously, it's going to take a bit of time for me to learn how to work with these grinding tools. Which one's good for what? Let's just, I'm just going to give this a wipe. Didn't even look up to see if you guys could see that. I hope you could see what I just did. Okay. I think this is a buffer. Yeah, this feels like a buffer. Okay, what's this one like? It's taking a bit off, but not, it takes it off slower. So the reason why I've got these is because I wanted to clean up edges. Okay.
Okay, this one is the buffer. So for the fact that I filled that hole in and poured on top, should be able to get that a bit of a smoothing out on the surface without taking too much off. Which it has. Okay. So. Let's just. Pop these. Back away. Uh, that. 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 Oops. Not that one. That one there. Okay. Just see if I have to push them in. Right, as you can see, I keep t hitting that lamp. I, whoops, <laughs> might have I put that one in there. That one doesn't stay. Wonder if it needs to go into that hole. There we go. Alrighty, let's get that out of my way. So, here we go. Still needs a little bit of a like a top coat on it, and a bit of a coat on the back, which I will do with a bit of clear resin. Um, oh, that one's the backing one is coming up, but pretty firm there now. Okay. One thing I did do with, uh, what I have tried to do, is this is not a UV activated. But what I have done is put just clear nail polish on. And that should smooth that top bit out. which it looks like it has. Now, there we go. What we've got here, so this is the other side of it. Now the magnet, the strongest part of the magnet is that side. It's closer to the bottom, um, but it's still tacky. It is still tacky. Hang on, just checking. No resin on my fingers. <laughs> there is... One of the things that I've got coming is shaker moulds. Um, but I am going to have to order some bezels. Um, and yeah, they're going to be really cool they're going to make more sense to work with. They're going to be better than um, moulds that are this thick. Um, and the shaker moulds, I'm just hanging for the shaker moulds. Okay, let's see. Still a bit tacky. And I am... Gonna have to grind the edge down on this. Okay, so what you can see is see how we've got a I've got a edge on these. I'm just gonna grind them down a bit. I do have in because I've still got one more. Well, I shouldn't say one more. I've got a, I've got another resin kit coming, tool kit coming, which has. Um, all the sanding stuff in it. Uh, that's that's the bit that I'm really eager to arrive because that's when I can start actually putting this straight. I can straight onto flat surface. So this grind will be good for some for this stuff.
but when you have a um, hang on where have we got it didn't I have it here somewhere hang on a sec where are they oops so like a nail file which is just a case of sanding flat um, which is what I just that grinder's taking the edge off but this is going to flatten this out okay right doesn't look like much does it it feels it's dull because the I believe the tint has taken a lot of the shine out of it hang on I don't want any powder on that and see how that although you can tell there was a hole it's going to focus it will focus eventually it's got to stop focusing on my hands there we go how's that look now that has the magnet behind it in the resin um, guess what it's not strong enough that is not going to go between oops let's turn it that way it's not going to be strong like going through um, a resin canvas it will hold but it's not strong like others so question is if I just if it was just a single magnet I don't know would that be sufficient I find that I will admit that I <laughs> okay I have to work with those let's see if I go to the matching magnet there that's what it is no it's even that hang on <laughs> I think it's more that it's not the right matching magnet could that be a possibility it shouldn't be because you put these two together Oops. I think I've got to really watch so as a cover miner I really do need to watch how thick the resin is between the two surfaces it's got to be an absolute super thin coating of resin um, so I'm absolutely killing my nail file here do I have another oh yeah I've got another one there yeah it's got, I'm gonna have to really watch I've got two choices it's either a thick magnet or um, I really need to learn how to work with hang on a sec that was a split sec okay what I have is a diamond painting I put that on the bottom Oh yeah, it is going to. Hang on, but it's gonna. It is sliding. Oops. Okay, it's not gonna. So if you want to want a strong one, is it going to? I mean, it is gonna hold it. What do we think guys 
Do, 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 do. <laughs> what do you think? Is that going to be sufficient? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No. So that just slid off. Um, I don't think that's going to be strong enough. But what if I went... <laughs> I put the magnet around. Mm -hmm. Fun and games with magnets. If I didn't put resin between them, it's it's a lot stronger. So that gives me another thought. But that's pretty. I do like that one. But I've got another thought on what I can do, how to tackle it. Um, so this one here, um, I suppose, where did I just put that? If I get that bit of a white, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some nail polish on this to see if I can get it to shine up a little bit. Um, and bring it when this is all set because nail polish obviously is not something that sets quickly the uv resin light nail polish does but not the normal because the uv resin one i can put a torch on it hmm i guess he still has some resin left behind <laughs> I've got some resin there with one of my magnets has landed in it. <laughs> um, so, guys, this is a bit... I suppose while I'm learning, it's going to be messy. Um, and, and I'm going to bring you guys along on my journey while I'm learning to do this. Um, I've now ruled out that these magnets are completely useless. So... Um, you know, it's not even, yes, I'm trying to set this resin. Um, so that's not even worth attempting using. So that's going to go. That's, they're out the door. Um, what I am thinking is I will probably, hang on. Although you didn't notice that, Nathan just walked in. He knocked on the door first, so he was good. Um, just going to pull this little bit of resin out. This, sorry, a little bit of resin. This little magnet out. Still got some resin here that hasn't been set. I'm going to do, I'm just, I'm just going to make a little tiny cover minder. There's too much resin in that. <laughs> Let's flatten that down. And pop it the right way. There we go. This won't take long to set. This is only a teeny tiny one. This is one where I could um, just glue a magnet onto the back of it. So we'll see how that goes. I mean, that's just about set there. Okay. And a little bit of resin on there. And I'm just going to blue, put one of these little magnets on there. Not little magnets, but the medium magnets. These are the, I think this is the size of magnet that I've got cut, that I've got on order from Amazon. I just can't get it on there. There we go. So what I probably could do is just 
create the mold and then set the magnets onto the onto the back of it. And that's one option. <laughs> oh, they never, never cease to surprise me. Okay, hang on. I'm going to put it under the lamp. And is that one not quite set? That little magnet is going out the door. I'm going to find little tiny magnets all over the place because I've flung a couple. Okay, I just... But I do believe that just as a simple button diamond a button one, I think will work. Okay, let's see how this is. It still feels a bit tacky. These are more if you for earrings or little tiny brooches. Okay. Oh, we'll definitely need the edging sanded back. Hang on. Let's see. We we'll just watch the fingernails. Whoops! Magnetic. It just stuck to the grinder. <laughs> Whoops, got the fingernail again. <laughs> okay, that's going to kind of have to do it. Nothing fancy about it. But it's just a little tiny one, which with a little magnet behind it. There's me just doing a quick play. That will, without a doubt, um, work on a diamond painting. But that's it there. Um, so what I do have is a top. I've got a top and a bottom for that. Or a top and a bottom for that. That's just not strong enough. That is... What it is, is I've put too much resin on that side because there's resin on that one and it's still, it's got that stick. So I've really got to watch the how thick that resin is that goes on top. But yeah, hopefully you guys like that idea. Um, you know, that's what I'm looking at doing. That's some of the stuff that I'm looking at doing once I get it a bit better done. A bit, work it out a bit better. I don't know. How do, how do I word it? Mastered the craft. I'll never master the craft, but you know. But that's that's my plan with cover miners to be able to do something like that. I suppose I've been because I don't have everything quite as I want it and haven't got my mind around how to do it properly. You know, I could do a few at once, quite a few at once once I get the moulds right. But guys, thank you for watching. Um, please thumbs up, thumbs down if you want to. Leave a comment. And um, please subscribe. And um, 
hit the bell so you can be notified of when I do any uploads and I do currently I'm doing diamond painting I've got a couple of different types of resin work that I'm working on I do have beaded cross stitch and I think I'll paint by numbers as well but these are, are those ones aren't really showing on my channel um, so thank you guys for watching and I will talk to you later bye for now